the topic of this lesson is angles of elevation and depression. So first I want to start by defining them. An angle of elevation is the angle formed from the horizontal measuring upward. And the angle of depression is the angle formed from the horizontal measuring downward. So the horizontal can be formed at eye level or at ground level or at some other reference point. So here's a picture. Um, if I'm looking from the person's point of view and I'm looking up at the bird, this is the angle of elevation and the horizontal is right here, which is line of sight. Okay, again, looking from the person's point of view, which is line of sight, down to the base of the tree, that's an angle of depression. But if I'm at the bird's location and I'm looking at person, then the bird's reference is their line of sight is here and they have an angle of depression looking down towards the person. And if I'm sitting at the bottom of the tree and I'm looking upwards towards the person, then I have an angle of elevation looking towards the person. So it's always the point of reference. Um, the other thing you should be aware of is since these are horizontal lines and they are, uh, they are parallel to each other, um, this angle of elevation is equal to the angle of depression. So that's going to be relevant later. Again, the angle of elevation is equal to the angle of depression. Okay. So our first problem, suppose you stand 50 feet from a farm turbine. Your angle of elevation to the hub of the turbine is 56.5 degrees. Your eye level is 5.5 feet above the ground. Approximately how tall is the turbine from the ground to its hub? So we're going to draw a little picture here. We're going to draw your little wind turbine. There you go. And then your person is over here. You're looking up into the wind turbine. You're standing 53 feet away. So this is your eyeball. Standing 53 feet away. Let's put a little eye there and some lashes. Okay. And then this angle right here is 56.5 degrees because it is an angle of elevation right here as stated. So I'm looking up towards the turbine. I am also 5 feet from the 5.5 feet from the ground, so that's going to be relevant because I'm looking for the length of the whole turbine, not just from here up. So I'm going to start by calling this x. All right. When I set up my equation for that, I'm going to have that this is my um, opposite side to the angle and my adjacent side to the angle. So that's telling me I'm going to use the tangent. So then the tangent of right here, the tangent. I have 56.5 degrees is going to be equal to the opposite side, which is x, over the adjacent side, which is 53. Then I'm going to want to get x alone, so I'm going to multiply both sides by 53. That's going to give me 53 times the tangent of 56.5 is equal to x, and I just plug that into my calculator. So 53 times 56.5 tangent equals 80 feet. So x is 80 feet. However, that's only this distance, so the turbine is 8 feet, uh, 80 feet plus the 5 feet 5 inches, so it's going to be 85.5 feet because you have to add your height. Okay. I wanted to give question A right here a try. You cite a rock climber on a cliff at 32 degree angle of elevation. Your eye level is six, six feet above the ground and you are a thousand feet from the base of the cliff. Cliff. What is the approximate height of the rock climber from the ground? Figure that out. Pause and come back. You should have gotten that the rock climber was 630 feet is the correct answer. If that's not what you got, then you need to make sure you ask me a question. If you got 624, you forgot to add how high you were. All right. Next problem. To approach a runway, the pilot must begin a three-degree uh, descent starting from a height of 2,714 feet above sea level. The airport is 1,007 feet above sea level. How far is the plane from the runway at the start of the approach? So here's your little airplane. 
right? Ooh, that's a terrible plane. There's my airplane. I'm headed that way. And my airport is over here, so I'm looking for this runway. I'm trying to hit the runway. And I'm, I know that I'm at 2,714 feet high, and the runway is at 1,007 feet. Okay, so here I am. I'm trying to hit this. The plane is going to come down. Where it starts its descent, now this is an angle of descent, so just so we're clear what that means, that means I'm going from this straight line right here, my horizontal right here, this is my 3% uh, uh, angle of depression, okay? So that means that that is equal to my angle here which is my angle of elevation looking from the runway's perspective. And I know that my plane is perpendicular to the ground, or otherwise that's a bad thing, before it starts its descent. So I know that the distance between those two is found by subtracting them. So that makes this 1,770 feet off the ground then I'm trying to find out how far away the plane has to be from the runway so that we don't have a problem. And I know that my angle of descent is equal to my angle of elevation, so that makes this 3%. All right, so now, again, I'm looking for x. Look at that, my angle, I have my opposite side, and I'm lo looking for my adjacent side, so I'm looking at a tangent. So the tangent of 3 is equal to 1707 oh, over x. And then I'm going to multiply by x. That's going to give me x equals, or x times the tangent of 3 equals 1707. Then I'm going to divide by the tangent of 3. So x is going to equal 1707 divided by the tangent of 3. I'm going to plug that into my calculator. Um, 1707 divided by 3 tangent gives me x is 32,571.5 feet from the runway. If I wanted to change that into to miles, I would divide that by 5,280 to make it miles. Um, but that's not necessary because that wasn't part of our question. So, I would like you to give this part B a try. An airplane pilot sights a life raft at a 26 degree angle of depression. The airplane's altitude is 3 kilometers. What is the airplane's horizontal distance from the raft? The horizontal distance from the raft. So when I'm looking for that, I'm looking for this thing right here. How far was the airplane from the raft? Okay, figure it out, come back. Okay, did you get that it was 1.5 kilometers? If you didn't, then you need to come see me, ask me a question about it in class. All right.